Gordon's whistle. Gordon's cross. Why should Henry have a new shape? He grumbled. A shape good enough for me is good enough for him. He goes gallivanting off the crew, leaving us to do his work. It's disgraceful. And another thing, Henry whistles too much. No respectable engine ever whistles loudly at stations. It isn't wrong, but we just don't do it. Poor Henry didn't feel happy anymore. Never mind, Henry, said Percy. I'm glad you're home. I like your whistling. Goodbye, Henry, said Corbin next morning. We're glad to have you with us again, but be sure to remember what I said. Later, Henry took some coaches to Edward Station. Hello, Henry. You look splendid. I was pleased to hear your happy whistle yesterday. Thank you, Edward, said Henry. Shh, shh, shh. Can you hear something? Edward listened. Far away, with the clicky clack of chain wheels, and the sound of a very loud whistle. It sounds like Gordon, said Edward. And it ought to be Gordon. But Gordon never whistles like that. It was Gordon. He came rushing down the hill at a tremendous rate. He didn't look at Henry and he didn't look at Edward. He was purple in the face and whistling fit to burst. He screeched through the station and disappeared. Well, said Edward, what do you It isn't wrong, but we just don't do it. And Henry told Edward what Gordon had said. Meanwhile, Gordon screeched along the line. People came out of their houses. Air raid signs sounded. The fire brigade came out of the station house and old ladies dropped their parcels. At the big station, the noise was awful. The fat controller gave a lot of orders, no one could hear them, and Gordon went on whistling. The fat controller clambered into Gordon's cab and said, Take him away and stop the noise. He was still whistling when he left the station. He was whistling when he crossed the point. He was still whistling when the last passenger left the platform. Then two fitters climbed on top of Gordon and knocked his pull valve back into place. And there was silence. Gordon slung into the shed. He was glad it was empty. The other engines arrived only late. It isn't wrong, said Henry, remembering to one in particular. But we just don't do it.